Sagittarius, how you doing? So we are here with your August twin versus twin. So the reason why I do these, a little bit of a disclaimer, the reason why I do these, okay, because it gives a chance to break down the energy from your actual monthly reading and it will give you actually more insight into, you might be looking at things that insight, but you might have vision of sight, <laughs> but we will get onto that. But it breaks down the energy so you can pick between who's who and it gives you more of a general perspective of things that will help you more that be uh, disclosed or undisclosure. I'll keep picking that up, disclosure, um, through uh, your soulmate relationships. Twin flames, soulmate, spiritual connection that you have with people. Your family lives and your uh, environment tell you more about yourself because we're all cut from the same cloth of the same kind of energy. Okay, So it all relates to energy. Um, so pretty much... When a conduit starts the channel, because I'm a channeler, okay, when, <laughs> that runs the channel, but when you when you uh, channel messages, it pretty much where uh, a medium has to step aside their ego, okay, so the ego steps aside, so whatever comes out my mouth, <laughs> it comes out my mouth because my ego is stepped aside and I just channel messages, pretty much. So we'll look into it. So, so you'll have to excuse me when I start to channel, if I do, because that's just what I'm hearing, okay. So, so you might be working on the ego, maybe, the ego. So let's see, so Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for August, Twin versus Twin. Show me Sagittarius, please, show me Sagittarius. Thank you, Sagittarius. So there you go, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. So I think this is a project more to do with work that this energy is going through. I think this person is a family member. So obviously you do have family, right, family. So we're all family. So that seems to be most important to this person. Uh, at the moment, if you're a woman, okay, and you have children, you're working on a project, which would be to, obviously to do with work. So you might be doing paperwork or a new project that you might want to, you might have deadlines for certain things that need to be in. But most of all, what you are is a mother, okay? So you want to be a mother or a father, but I'm picking this up more of a mother energy, where you could be a mother or just family in general at the moment is really important to you. Now I'm picking up some kind of project that you're looking into doing. So it could be to do with paperwork or if it's, I, I'm not really picking it up as a new field altogether. For a lot of you, I think it's a project that you've been doing for a while, but you do have some kind of paperwork or something that you have to get done first before you can attend to your family. I think family at the moment for this energy is more important with their children, but, um, or, or the place of residency that you're at is most important. But I think that you do also have a project underway that you're probably doing at home. So I'm thinking at home, a lot of you could be to do with the internet or an internet based business or something of a project that you're looking into, but it's requiring probably some kind of internet um, where you're analyzing, not even analyzing. I think that you've done it for a while, but you're having to work, work harder for the energy um, for, before it becomes into fruition. I think if you've done this project for a while, so we'll come out of love, if you've done this project for a while, you've been doing it to your highest ability, but I think that you're also a mother. So I think that this person could be like a little bit exhausted when they're like, well, well, I just really just want to be with my family. I really want to be at home. I want to look into this project a hell of a lot more than what I am doing, but I'm doing that as well as being a mother. So I feel that if there's paperwork and stuff like that that needs to come into fruition that's going to help you more, that will obviously give you good prospects. So this would be with someone that's got good prospects as a relationship partner, but... As a job, this person would be someone that has good prospects, so they would be grounded and relaxed at the moment. But I'm feeling that there's some kind of emotional baby. <laughs> I'm so emotional, baby. So some of you could be very emotional. So it might be to do with a woman's cycle, time of the month, the time of the month. It might be, it might be that some of you might be a little bit late. I'm not sure. Late is what I'm picking up. Might be a little bit of a late. So if we're looking at deadlines, I think the deadline is a little bit late. And I think that some of you might be staring out of a window, maybe. Staring out of a window, um, trying to seek, like, oh, I'm just, there's just more. I just know that I can do this. But I really want my family. I really would like a stable relationship, but I would... My family comes first, my pentacles, my money comes first. So I've got to get things in order first. But a lot of you, I think that you're dreaming and desiring for something to be looked after, pretty much, to be looked after. So that can also relate to your children. If you've got children, this can relate to your children, okay? So, but it would also relate to you and your children, you know? So let's see. So if we go down the relationship partner this person wants a partnership 
but they're realising that they're going to have to stabilise their emotions first. So there's a, a, a balance at the moment. Show me the other person that Sagittarius is connected to. Show me the other person that Sagittarius is connected to. Love. Some relationship. Okay, so we've got a few this side. So there you go. So it's a lot to do with money, finances. If it's to do with love, then it's to do with like this person is suffering from some kind of illness at the moment. They might be physically ill or people say left out in the cold, but family, you might be separated away from your family at this period of time and that you're just worried about them or they're worried about you. This person does have fear of rejection. So someone might be in feared of rejection because of children, like if children, um, do you know what I'm saying? Like um, if your relationship and you've got children and the other person doesn't, you're putting your children as... Mm. I think there's fear that's gathered around knowing that for some of you, that if you want a relationship but you do have children, that they're going to play a main factor in the person that you want to be with. Now, if a person leaves you, if a person leaves you, okay, because you have children... This is you taking main priority that you're realizing that um, in order to find a good partner, m the, well, my children come with me, you know, which, the, which they do. My children come with me. Um, so at the moment, it might be that this person in their external environment is holding on to literally what or, or was holding on to some belief that you might leave them out in the in the crowd is what I heard. Leave them out in the crowd. Leave them out in the crowd. Mm. Like, if there's a holiday or if there's at work, you're standing out from the crowd, but there's some kind of fear for some person here that they might be left out from the crowd, is what I'm hearing. Left out in the crowd, alone. So if it's to do with children, I think this person is fearing that they've got to leave their children to come to this energy. Do you know what I'm saying? So trust me, I get cross-matched and cross-watched, so I pick up on loads of different energy through channeling. So we'll see. So you've also got um, the High Priestess, which is three. So that's motherhood and fatherhood. So I'm thinking for some of you, for some of you, this is a lot to do with work. Working on, this person might work in the, um, like beauty, like a beauty parlor for some people. Like, and it, this could even be the children or the family, okay? Because it's family interoriated. So this person is also a family interoriated person, but they might be, they might work in the beauty field. But what they're worrying about is, is I need to stand out from the crowd. But I'm feeling like I've got to work harder at the connection in order to build this business up. I think that this is a business relationship for some of you. Um, but we will go down major factors. Um, I'm feeling that if you've got children, and this person obviously would have, these are either the children or it's the children. But um, you've got some kind of maternal kind of feeling. So this could be like, like someone's late, late. But if it's to do with work, this person really is trying to sort out their um, fears of uh, social anxiety, put it that way, I feel. Like social anxiety, this person could have social anxiety and they're realising that they're, they're having to literally save every penny that they've got. But I feel that they are opening up, like they're coming out, like there's something that's been blocking them, but they're actually now opening up. But they're fearing that if I open up, am I going to be able to make this? So some of them could be, thank you, could be like fearing, can I make a baby? Like, am I stable enough yet to carry the responsibility of this person if it's to do with love that actually does have children? So if you're connecting with someone, they might be realising that they might be infertile. For some people, that they might be infertile. Because this person, regardless of anything, even if it's to do with work, is worrying something about performance, is performance. Of one... Like, do they have enough what it takes in order to come to this energy? Okay. For two, do they have what it takes, like, to be a mother or to be a father for this energy also? Okay. Um, 
as if it relating to work also because we go over many lessons that are going to help you more um if it's to do with like love i think that they're fearing that am i going to carry the, be able to carry this responsibility of being a father or mother okay so then you do also have the hierophant which is to do with like mother or fathership leadership do i have enough to be able to carry the responsibility of this energy to support them you've got two kind of weird uh vibrations at the moment because i've only got one card out through responsibility at work through responsibility of this connection of like do we have enough for what it takes so if money is an involvement or children are involvement if money is an involvement this work this person could well be worrying about is there enough money for us to actually come together so if it's to do with travel do i have enough money at the moment to come to see this energy do i have enough support from my family that will allow me to come to this energy so, so it could relate to children still um because this empress always makes the decision you see because she's a three so she comes from a two so we're making the decision so she's the matriarch she's the person that makes the decision so this is also for some of you like um uh, like two women or two men you know um or not not everybody but for some people it could well be um but if not this person is like um still make that decision of like if it's a man do i have this enough money to where we could build a home together or a life together or support you for what it is that you want if it is a child or if it's a home or if it's a connection or if it's a marriage you know, do I have enough responsibility? If it is through being fertile or infertile, you know, then this person could be worrying about her body clock that could be playing havoc with him or her. Performance is what I'm picking up, a performance, because the Five of Pentacles is like a performance energy, definitely through the Empress. If it's a lot to do with work, then there is some kind of financial support that this person might want from their family if this is a child they 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 are very supportive of their mother or father but if it's the father i think that they pr probably don't get everything because this could be to do with child support so if the mother is the person that's looking after the child the mother the, the child is very co like co-reliant reliance is like the 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 empress she's very reliant on either her children or the children to the mother or both you know and it would be to do with a marriage for a lot of you this person is really contemplating on do they have what it takes to end up marrying you you know do they because what they're going to do is literally give you a loving message but they're thinking about it this person doesn't deliver messages this person thinks about the message before they send it you know the sender there's some kind of return of the sender this person is looking at, for a return on their investment from a mother or child also they might you might receive a message from a child or from your partner or from a job that somebody wants a return from something so it might even be a tax return it might even be a bill that's what i'm saying what's picking up through this energy it might even be a bill that they have clients because the empress would have clients she might even be looking to build up a stature of a business that she's just about to start to run you know because the empress runs the roost she runs the clock she runs her own business so i'm picking it up that if you have children or fathers or something that this person is really starting to build up their self-worth their value and also their respect but respect within the community field of standing out from the crowd you know standing out from the crowd and um, what they do is they work for the public i would say so if it's a beauty parlor if it's a beauty parlor or something like that they are looking into how they can become more successful within that so they're working extremely hard this person is, is having to really work extremely hard for this connection as well for some you see so if you do have Taurian energy or Gemini energy that's around you also, this could be like the fathers or mothers also, you know. And this could be the children. Sorry. I'm really trying to... <coughs> I get so... When I start channeling, it's difficult to close the channel. So some of you might be closing a channel. If you run a channel, 
it might be under disclosure. It might be under disclosure under review. I mean, under review. If you run a spiritual channel, or even if you're contemplating on shall I or shan't I, or, or is it bringing in enough money for me to do it, like to support the home and the children and all that, and there might be some kind of where it's just like it's becoming a lot of work in order for me to run my own business and do a channel also is what I'm picking up. Um, but it's also, this energy is, if they do beauty or anything like that, they support their children through that as well. But they're also trying to support this energy for also being somebody that wants children. That wants children. So you might want children to, so you either have got children together, and that's for some, and there's a, a, a breakup with like um, an old person, okay? like someone that you was married to or a family member or something like that and you have that going on as well okay and there's some kind of financial aid or there's literally just distance between you and the other person that you was connected with as a marriage okay uh if this is the new person or the person then these are children and some of them could be water signs cancer scorpio pisces um and the husband or wife could be a Taurus or Gemini. Okay, um, you do have Taurus here, so the father could be the Taurus, and this could be you as the mother. But you have mother, father, mother, father. But you also have like a, like some of you are these are arranged marriages um, spiritually because the Five of Pentacles would be spiritual because it's to do with the church, the Evangelical Church is what I heard. The Evangelical Church, the White Rabbit. <laughs> so you might be listening to <laughs> sorry you might be listening to uh, what's that who's saying the white rabbit um <clears throat> i forget the white rabbit is what i picked up they might have a white rabbit or some some kind of animal that's white is what i'm picking up the white rabbit or chickens or something <laughs> chicken little but white white the white rabbit or someone might want a white rabbit or something and they might have passed there might be an animal is what i'm picking up sorry that passed that passed on some people have also looking for an inheritance of what they've been what they're owed for an inheritance this side an inheritance because if this was a breakup of a marriage this is what you're seeking is the uh the foundation of what was left behind of what was left behind so if that's to do with an inheritance your mothers or fathers could have like good financial backing or the person that you was with has very good financial backing and they're very stable with what they have that they might have children with for some people so i'm picking up this five of pentacles and this here of children that they have but children also that someone else has and that might be a little bit of divide in this connection at the moment <coughs> excuse me how are you doing, Sag? Anyway, whew, take a breather, <laughs> have a drink, have a drink. Some people could drink a lot, like they gather the family around and they have like family time, family time, and they drink, they drink, or the children are just starting to drink. Or just starting to drink. Sorry, but I go off synchronicities of everything that I do. <laughs> Sorry, I do. I do. <laughs> it always means something, though, right? Sad. Um, but I think this is an old and new business venture. Like there is something old and new. So it might be a marriage. Something old, something new, something blue for a lot of you. So let's stop channeling through one side. Stop being one-sided. <laughs> That's probably what you're arguing about. Listen. Stop being one-sided. <laughs> Why is it that when my children get involved, you're all for them, but then when my children get involved, you're all for your own children and not mine, is really what I'm picking up. You're always one-sided, Steve, sorry. You're always one-sided. You're always like for your children, but not mine. And my children seem to have to work harder than what your children do. You know, that's what I'm really picking up. So is that relating with you, Saj? If it's to do with children? If it's to do with work, then you work harder at one than the other, but you're like really balancing them out of like which one's more worthy of your time of putting the energy and effort in. But I think this might be the 
old business that you do that now it's a new venture and a new like well I'm bringing back in the new I'm fucking sag and you watch me do it <laughs> right right but if we go down to where this is a separation of different marriages okay I feel that some of you definitely for sure because I'm going cold thank you <laughs> is the fact that you've got different uh, baby mothers fathers kind of thing or they do or something like that um, and I'm thinking like just like I said <laughs> that they say that well this is what I said and this is the way I am Taurus energy <laughs> well this is what I said you know if you're married um, and you're actually in a relationship that's pretty much how that goes well why is it that everything has to be your fucking way why does everything have to be your way well you go your own way you go golfing you do <laughs> sorry you do what you want you know, whilst you're out there and I'm at home looking after the children and fucking doing all the housework and all that kind of stuff, or, or actually supporting my children without you, why is it that you seem to give your children everything and you don't give me as much as them? So there's no, like, so you're probably thinking to Sag, well, fucking hell, well, that's not fair, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? That's not fair. The decision at court is is well it's going in someone's favor what's the queen of pentacles here for what's the queen of pentacles here for but you will only ever gain more clear because these are general readings this is only really about the energy okay that's portrayed at the moment so this might have even happened or is happening but future prospects will be what's coming in between the, the energy okay so if you're relating to this is what's going on at the moment the future aspects of it is what comes between the middle okay what separates the energy okay so that's why it's twin versus twin that's because it's everybody because a twin is like how we mimic people in life and who do we mimic everybody who loves you and who do you love the running man right so someone's a runner, maybe a chaser, a runner. But that's why we have that, because we mimic society, we mimic family members, and we mimic society, you know. Um, so when you find a mimic, you realise that you're mimicking everybody, which are soulmates. We're all cut from the same cloth, you know. So we, this is why I'm saying I always base these readings of as much information as I can give you, but majority of this stuff here is more than likely of stuff that's happened. Now, I will give this information for people. If you look at your descending sign, okay, because you look at descending and ascending, your descendant sign is going to be something that you manifested from before that became into reality when you watch your descendant sign. That's what's happened, okay, pretty much, but it's still general. You have to have a personal reading for things to change to see, right? But descendant sign will always mean what's happened in a cycle, and your rising sign but also like general <laughs> is what you're manifesting after this cycle of an ending because every ending has a beginning of the cycle of what you manifest okay so i'm going to do that over on patreon okay and i'm going to do why do people always come back through retrograde why is it so difficult for me to let go of how do i get myself out of these situations how do i become great in life how do i have to think and feel I'm going to do that video for everybody and it will be on Patreon if you are joining Patreon, okay? And I will do that and it will give you some great insight. Everything that comes to me is not from Google, it's not from anybody else. I don't really, I'm so busy now that I don't get time to do anything apart from belief. Belief. It all comes down to self-belief. You believe in yourself, you believe in your calling and you believe in your spiritual what you hear, okay? You realise that I could channel messages through this cup because it's the reader some some of you might be saying, charge it, charge them. <laughs> They've got a card reader. Some of them have just got a new card reader for a business also. But it's the reader, you know, it's the reader, it's the conduit, it's the channel, it's the person that gives you the messages. It's not the cup. Tarot is used as a conduit, a system of like this cup. You know, that's why you can channel messages through fucking anything, you know, because you're open. It opens up the spiritual channel Okay, you give it to people on the channel, but because there's fucking loads of people, <laughs> it's a general energy, you know. So when you learn about all this kind of stuff, you realize that you're the conduit, you know, you're the conduit. So you can channel 
Well, I mean, you know, I can, but you, you can channel through everything. So someone, it, this could be to do with a spiritual channel for some of you, like a channel, a channel. But And you're learning to be, uh, if it's spiritual, you're learning, you're, you're learning, you know, a, a, a new career in that or a new path. I heard self-career or career or something like that. But a courier service, a courier service also where you'd send things out and they come back and you might be looking into merchandise or that kind of thing. Stop channeling, Steve. Dave, listen, my spirit guide, Sag, is called Dave. So if I have a word for myself, that's me talking to myself behind a veil, right? And I was called Dave, I'm sure I was. <laughs> someone's, someone's called Dave up in this business, or maybe went to a rave, got into a fight, maybe. got into a, He come home drunk, anyway. <laughs> he come home drunk. He's like, fucking hell, sweet. All right. <laughs> Do you want to get married? Wow. Let's have a baby. <laughs> right, sorry. It's right. So here I go. Here I go again. Here I go again. Someone's a goer and someone's a shower. They're going to show up with a message, but that might be, listen, sweetheart, I've just come home from a night and I'm absolutely exhausted. How's your day been? Yeah, it's fucking great, but I've been working hard at looking good, feeling fine, looking good. But, well, do you want to get married? What? Oh, dear. There seems to be a baby that's just been born. <laughs> right, sorry. But that could be this energy here. <clears throat> I'm coming, I'm stumbled. I can see someone like opening the door like, shh, quiet, shh. The family's awake. The neighbours can hear you. Shh, come in. <laughs> sorry. Come in, come in. Be careful. If you don't want children, you don't have them, be careful cover that up or there's a cover up there's a whoa oh hold the horses there's a cover up someone is an undercover spy is what i heard so <laughs> someone's got a disclosure a final disclosure also business wise but getting deadlines in right but i'm also feeling like there's some kind of like I'm, I'm really hearing someone like, going, shh, sweetheart, listen, I've got a child, I've got a child maybe with someone else, I hope that isn't your case, or there's a court case to do with children, thank you, <laughs> thank you spirit, where the hell are we going with this, Sag, what are you getting me at channel, 27, 27 on the clock, <laughs> shh, <laughs> shh, Steve, don't tell them, don't tell them, don't tell them, Look, I've got a child. Mum, listen, <laughs> I'm I'm pregnant and I've got a child. <laughs> by a Taurus, possible, or by my partner. And shh, <laughs> so, oh my God, what's going on? Shh. It, so relate this to different stories of what we've gone through. But somebody out there is like, shh. Do you want another child? So either the children are like, Mum, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, see, stuff just comes out of my mouth. Oh dear, oh, <laughs> no, 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 let's go, let's go. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. I'm just thinking of the star signs. That, oh my God, oh my word. Listen, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're in trouble. You're in trouble. So I'm picking up a few things. I said you're in trouble because I know somebody. And you're in trouble, young lady. <laughs> but also, that might be what's being said. You're in trouble, young lady. Or someone might be in financial trouble. And they're asking for help. And it might be a child that's actually asking for help. For you to help them because you're the mother. But they might be asking it from the mother and the father at the same time. You get what I'm saying, Sage, where we're going with the energy? But that's this, <laughs> bruv, that's this one side. I mean, <laughs> again, again, someone's one-sided. Someone's like, someone plays the field. Put it that way, right? Love-wise or whatever, maybe. But maybe there's a baby. But someone, a child, plays the field. They go to their mother for financial support. And they're like, Mum, can I, can I have a pair of jeans? <laughs> can I have this new top? Can I have a new scooter? Can I have a new motor, John? <laughs> John, 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 have you got a new motor? John, hey, John, two pints, <laughs> two pints of Carl in a packet of crisps, bruv. 
<laughs> so they go out drinking. But also, oh my God, I just see so many stories. Stop. <laughs> someone's like um they play their mother and their father or if it's separate mothers and fathers and you're in kind of some kind of thing someone goes to their mother for everything and the taurus energy is like no well yes no yes no well have you asked your mum yeah she said and the child could be playing them both against one another <laughs> so <laughs> the child could be playing child's play child's play chucky Chucky, child's play. So you might be going to the pictures or something to watch Chucky or child's play. Or they were very childlike. Someone might be like a Chucky doll. Why do I keep picking up on a goddamn Chucky doll? <laughs> a Chucky doll. Chucky cheese. Chucky cheese or something. Someone's cheesy. Oh. <laughs> no, we, we, stop. Stop, Dave. No. Right. <laughs> Dave, stop. Quit. Oh, they're, they're probably just cheesy. Like, <laughs> they're probably just, what they do and what they say is just, like, cheesy. You know, cheesy. Gives you a line. Ooh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Come off that one. They give you a line, like a cheesy line, you know. <laughs> flirty. But they give you a flirty, teasy line, you know, something. Something to say. Something to do. If it's work, they give you, they, they tell you, listen, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to say, and get that done. And you're like, fuck me, bruv. <laughs> oh, dear. Queen of Pentacles. Please tell me more about this side of the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Whoa, so this is higher education. You've got a lot of dominant energy, feminine and masculine full show up in this business there is some business that's going around between both of you both of you this is the person that spreads and tells the news but they're very difficult to persuade otherwise <laughs> put it that way it's a very difficult energy to persuade otherwise because they're very wise that's why they're very influential and also a leader interiorate person that that tells you the path that they're going on this is per this is a person that obviously runs their own business too but they're also like studying something or they've studied enough where well fuck i actually know enough <laughs> you know so just go in the story forget the stars on but this person would be very difficult to crack meaning that they could crack the code to the matrix they could crack the code to anybody but what you will not crack is the person that you're related to if they don't want to open up if they don't want to open up they won't. And they will tell it and say it exactly how it is. And they will cut people out or they will be very fair. But it would be up to them. You know. So as a good energy, this person could be extremely intelligent and you can form also what we call is a separophilia, which is someone of uh, emotional intelligence that's attracted to one's intelligence because they're very intellectual. So some people can be very attracted to somebody's intelligence, okay, because they are someone that plans. So they have a plan, they have a master plan. Hey, Liam. <laughs> Someone with Noel Gallagher or something, okay? <laughs> hey, our kid. Hey, you all right? <laughs> our kid. Our kid. Listen, our kid. <laughs> oh, my God. Our kid that we've got together. Some of us want to be together. Some of them, some of, this is different parenting skills, parenting. Someone plays parenting. Plays the plays the martyr is what I also heard. Martyrdom, martyrdom. Why do I hear that? Martyrdom. Listen, excuse me. It's martyrdom. Someone plays the martyr and they're like, "Fuck that, bruv. I ain't budging. I'm not budging on this decision. The decision is yours." So you might be coming up with a judgment call. <laughs> the decision, if you want this baby, is is both of us. Ah tide changes the decision is both of ours because you've got feminine and masculine thank you spirit the decision <laughs> is yours who loves you and who do you love so the decision is yours Satch. who loves you and who do you love do you love your wife or do you love your children see do you love your husband or do you love your wife or do you love your children or do you love your past partner? Or do you love your future partner? Fuck knows. Is the future written? 
Do you really have free will? <laughs> well, that's why we have judgment, right? Because that's your free will choice to continue or not. That's why spirit will let you continue to do things for a very long time. <laughs> right? So we're talking about time and stuff that's gone on for a long time. So I'm picking this up as like some other arranged marriages or marriages or children that are all playing a part in why I do these readings. But this person has a master plan. Somebody could be called Liam or Noel, literally, right? But don't have to be. Very much doubtful. Someone's doubting. They're making decisions of like, well, in order if we have a child, I've got to educate myself more in beauty also. <laughs> Cross comparisons of Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If we want to go forward on building a house or a home together, where we can live together, <laughs> right? So you could be called from Wakefield or something. Wakefield, we'll pick Wakefield up. Or um, Dudley, we want to be together. <laughs> My wife, Elderflower, <laughs> I love her very much. And we like trees. Because <laughs> we're from Dudley. <laughs> right. Dudley or the land down under is what I picked up the land down under but uh, so it could be Australian but either way let's come out the comedic value there's value here in this energy of a plan that this person's having if it's to do with your general partner there's a project that this king of swords is rolling the roost at put it that way they want a partnership, they want someone caring and nurturing, but this would be the person of an emotional intelligence that would be the person that makes the decision. They would make their judgment call. And if it's a bad decision, they would cut it out like that. They would cut the nonsense out and they would seek higher ground. This person would be very well educated, but emotionally could be stubborn as fuck and just it could be a really nice great person okay it could could well be but cracking the exterior of their emotion you've got fertile emotion of i'm the person that runs the children i'm the person that runs the home and i look after the children and i'm the one that makes the plan of the holidays that we have the food that i buy the things that we do and actually support my children in education. I'm trying to work extremely hard so my children can have a better education for our future. So I'm picking up on so many different people of these being the children or different people's partners because some people are going between marriages and some people probably still do, but they also have their own thing. But this would be my own thing, you know. I have my own thing that I want to be great at. But also I do that for my children to get them at a higher point of education also. But I also need to realise for a chain that I need to be higher educated in something to support myself better for the future for my children. You get, you see? And the home and the thing that I rule the roost at, which is being a mother and a father. This is a single independent mother-father. Bosh, right there. King of Swords. Tell me more about the King of Swords, please. Why is the King of Swords here? Tell me more about the King of Swords, please, Spirit. Thank you. King of Swords. Thank you very much. There you go. The person that rules the roost. So, <coughs> it could be a Piscean energy may be involved, because we've got the Fall. So, underneath the deck. So, this person wants to travel. They are uh, also a free spirit, which is Sagittarius, right? Free spirited. But there's a very difficult balance between being Sagittarius of, of obviously tempering your energy, right? Realising that, like as a tarot card reader, okay? A tarot card reader, in order to be clairsentient, clairaudient, gifted in, in that, or these, <laughs> this or them, us or them. But you have to set your ego aside. That's why you can't always pertain to people's uh, feelings and emotions when you're doing the tarot card reading because I'm not concentrating on the camera I'm concentrating on the energy that's felt and done 
presently because that's how you manifest the future and that will be done in that video okay but presently when you're tarot card readers that's why you can pick up this glass or touch an object and channel through that because you channel through colors you see so you're an open conduit for an expression so the expression comes through setting the ego aside if you have any kind of parts of ego when you're trying to be a leader in Toriated, that means that you're worried about people giving you bad comments or bad people just put out bad because they're, they just have that about their karma. Okay, so there's a fluctuation of vibration that you need to learn or should learn or will we'll, we'll always learn about our ego because there's never uh, no way of ever getting rid of your ego. It will always be there. So this could be you learning about your ego. Okay, for some, but when you do that kind of stuff. To progress forward, you have to have strength to keep persisting forward to do it. It's, that's a work, that's a job, that's a career, that's a career. But that's also like a career path, meaning like you have to set aside your ego in order to go for it. Because if you're too egocentric or egotistical in life, you will never go forward on it because we just, it, it, sorry. You know what I'm saying, Sad. It's meaning like this person could be very well educated and that they're moving forward on a project, on a project, okay? great fan fucking tastic but future forward in Toriated, this person future forward in Toriated person right but this is also an ego card so it means still learning about one's ego 100 percent learning about one's ego um but we all have ego right but what i am kind of trying to touch on is cards and and stuff to be completely and utterly as a conduit as a reader as a, as a reader, not like a, well, I just read tarot cards. I mean, I read people. <laughs> I read energy. I read the matrix. I read, read, reading, reading and writing, esoteric writing, spirit writing, all that sort of stuff, or reading or writing or analyzing. It all comes down to what you're absorbing into your head. Okay. So what if, you, if you're absorbing into your head to realize that you can be great at it, fucking great. Okay, great. So basically, you're great at being a mother and you're great at being a father and you're great at the education that you are learning about and you're moving forward on it and you're future forward and you're like, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> but I'm very caring, very nurturing person that gives people chances and I will and I will let you have things for free also in order to build up a business. You know, What you would do for free is what you would do, what you're in alignment with because you would do it for nothing and you would do it all day long. Okay. So in order to build up the business, what you might have to learn through ego is that the fact that things come into you when you when you are generally caring and gifting person and that you would help people out because they will help you out. You see, it's a, a relationship and a bond that forms through career path, money, jobs, people, energy. You know, still part of the ego. So I'm going to leave that there. We're not going to do any more, but you might be involving a Piscean energy too. Okay, Piscean energy. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so, but we're going to go over that. Okay, so now the reason why... Whoa, Sedge. <laughs> Let's have a look. So I do readings, okay, personal readings, and you're, I'm starting to do so. If you want a personal reading, I've done a new plan. So it will be roughly for about two hours. And one of those parts of the two hour for the price, this is just one of the prices that I'm doing, will involve an hour tarot card reading, but that would be sent to you so you can watch it and back. But that card reading would last for about an hour and I will go over everything of your situation. Because this might still relate to you, but your personal situation is going to relate to the full lot of energy over that month and it will be personalised for you, okay? Because it's personal, it's not general, okay? So I'm going to do that, but then you also have, after your reading of not really telling me much, and I'll hopefully be able to tell you, then we can have an hour Skype call where we can talk about your reading and it will hopefully get you on your path if that's what you're looking for. Okay, if you're not and you just, well, this, that's just great. <laughs> but if you want a personal reading, that is part of the package. It's roughly around two hours. One of them will be an hour talk and the other one will be about an hour reading. Okay, so if you want to watch the rest of this, there is uh, Patreon or Vimeo. Vimeo is just the rest of this and then what comes in between is where we start to see the future. This could be what's happening this is what's coming in between and the energy that's reflecting of bringing you two together. If there are other people involved, I also pick up on that and I still channel. Okay. Now, if, if you want to just see that over on Vimeo, that's great. If you want to watch it on Patreon, Patreon is still just one tier and you can have access to everything. 
your monthly that's already there and this that will hopefully break these energies down where you can relate it to that too, okay? And then we'll go into weeklies, bi-weeklies, whatever I do. But I will also be going live at some point where we can just have a bit of a chit chat and that might be later today, okay? So that's all that done and said. I hope you find Sagittarius. Keep going on your path, guys. You seem to be doing quite well. You know, well, really well, in fact, you know. Excuse me. Um... But I hope that's information for you, but all the links are in the description that you can find and follow on different kind of projects and things that you want. If you want to follow Becoming the Change, if anything ever happens on my channel, that's why I have the Facebook Becoming the Change. It's a business page, but that will just keep you up to date. If something ever happens, I can let people know on there, okay? It's just different platforms I can let people know on. That's the reason why I have that going. Um, but like I say, personal readings, Vimeo or Patreon, all the options are there or the email description. Okay, guys, thanks very much, and I'll hopefully see you soon. Peace.